The top side panel may not function properly. This can include symptoms of low voltage, such as missing or scrambled segments, missing icons on the LCD, non-functional LEDs, or non-functional buttons. If any of these symptoms are present, turn off the power and unplug the panel from the circuit board. Then, plug in your test panel and restore power. If everything functions properly, replace the top side panel. If you still see symptoms of low voltage, such as a blank or partially blank panel display, or the LEDs do not function, turn the power off and replace the circuit board. Another panel-related problem may be burned out backlighting bulbs. These bulbs can easily be replaced. With the power off, gently pry up the top side control panel with a screwdriver. Next, locate the access holes in the back of the panel and use a screwdriver to replace the bulbs. Needle nose pliers may also be useful. To use the quick check, turn off the power, unplug the device in question, and plug the quick check in its place. Restore power to the SPA and press the appropriate panel button again. If the quick check's light appears, the device in question is receiving voltage. An ordinary voltmeter can also be used to check for proper output voltage, except when working with a variable speed blower or a dimmable SPA light. In these cases, a component on the circuit board called a triac needs to be under a small load to test output voltage. Even if the system is not equipped with a blower triac, the best way to verify voltage output is the Balboa quick check. If the quick check light does not appear after pressing the appropriate panel button, Trace the wires from the corresponding connector in the system box back to the circuit board. Probe these connections at the circuit board after activating the function with the top side control panel. If you do not have correct voltage, double check the input voltage before replacing the circuit board. On the other hand, if you do have correct voltage at the circuit board, Turn off the system power and check for a blown inline fuse. Blowing the inline fuse or the power input fuse is usually a symptom of a faulty pump or blower or shorted wiring to one of these devices. If the fuse is good or not used in your configuration, then replace the output connector. If the high-speed pump comes on when the system calls for heat or when the system goes into a filter cycle, the pump is most likely wired backwards. Verify the black and red wires are not switched in the amp connector or the pump itself. Always check to make sure all devices are plugged into the proper locations. System output connectors are clearly labeled on the system box. Other problems often associated with system box output may not be related to the system. For instance, if the SPA light output is not detected with the Balboa quick check, be sure to check continuity of the light fuse on the circuit board. 
remote or multiple panel applications need special consideration where the panels connect to the circuit board. Before replacing the board or panel, remove the gain connector and plug in each panel into the circuit board, one at a time. Be sure to test all functions with each panel separately. If the remote panel doesn't work, you may need to remove the remote panel from its location. Then, plug the remote panel directly into the board. This removes the extension loom with its one-to-one -one connector from the circuit board and will help you determine whether you have one panel with a problem, a defective gain connector, a bad extension loom which incorporates a one-to-one -one connector or a circuit board problem.